Hi everyone, in this slide we will be looking at the human aorta. Uh, what I'm pointing to right now is the lumen of the blood vessel. So what you're seeing here is just the interior of the blood vessel. And as you might recall, we have three layers in a typical blood vessel. We have the tunica intima, tunica media, and tunica dentitia. So let's go through these in detail, or in turn rather. Uh, so this first layer, the tunica intima, is this region right there, this kind of a more lightly staining region. And then we have the tunica media, which is this more intensely staining region, which has a lot of elastic fibers and a lot of smooth muscle. You can see it's a very, very thick layer in this case. This is a very thick, very strong blood vessel. It's the first point of entry of blood into your body from the heart. So it has to deal with a lot of high blood pressure, and so it needs to be able to stretch and recoil. And this tunica media is what's going to allow it to happen. Now beyond this, we have the tunica adventitia, which is visible right here, for example. Uh, as we go further out, we can see a bit more damage to this tissue, and so it's a little bit atypical in this area here. This area here, well, not here, this area right there is where you have a much more typical, dense, irregular connective tissue in the tunica adventitia. We'll look at that in some detail later in a moment. Uh, there are also some areas on this slide that are a bit more damaged, so there's kind of a fold over, and so you have the adventitia kind of pulled away from the rest of the tunica media. Okay, so not this whole slide is not the whole thing is going to give you everything that you were looking for. So we're going to focus just on the top part of this slide here. So again, tunica adventitia out here, tunica media, and then the tunica intima is innermost layer here. Okay. So we've looked at this and got the overall organization at low magnification. This is 100x. So we're going over to 400x total magnification just to get a little bit more detail. And so this magnification you can see again a bit more clearly, I think. This more lightly staining area is the internal, in the internal layer, so the tunica intima right there. And then we have this more intensely staining region right there. This is again the tunica media and then the tunica adventitia around the outside, a much thinner layer. And again, this is an artery, so the tunica media is really the main layer, the thickest layer of this particular blood vessel. Let's take a look at this in a bit more detail. Let's zoom into um, 400x total magnification. So that was 100x, this is 400x. And so what we're seeing here, <coughs> excuse me, Again, you got some nuclei at the surface. These nuclei are endothelial cells, or belong to endothelial cells. Beneath that, so up here, this is the subendothelial connective tissue. And then we start to notice kind of a fairly intensely stained wavy band right here. Okay, so this right here is that internal elastic membrane and you'll notice the same sort of pattern repeating as we go deeper and deeper into the blood vessel. We have internal elastic, sorry, not internal elastic membrane, but um, a, a thick band of elastic fibers, kind of a sheet of elastic fibers, and then a layer of smooth muscle, and then another layer of elastic fibers, then another layer of smooth muscle, another layer of elastic fibers, more smooth muscle, and so you have this interchanging layers of smooth muscle and elastic fibers and that is all of this tunica and media. I have a good 50 uh, layers of smooth muscle in here or so. And then you get to the outside and we have this outer elastic membrane, the external elastic membrane or external elastic lamina and beyond that we're going into the tunica adventitia and so you can see here for example tunica adventitia is a relatively dense irregular connective tissue. You can see the bundles of collagen are quite thick in comparison to the size of the nuclei and they are going in different directions. So what we have here is a dense irregular connective tissue. Within this region also we see some smaller blood vessels. So this is the vasa vasorum. This is the vessel of a vessel. 
what you have here are smaller blood vessels that are bringing uh, oxygen and nutrients to the deeper layers of this blood vessel. So again, just because there's blood going through the interior of the lumen doesn't mean that that blood is going to be able to feed all these layers of cells around the outside. So you might have a few layers up here that might get fed from the lumen, but a lot of these cells, especially deeper in, will not be able to get that to diffuse all the way through. And so you have to have support from the outside by smaller blood vessels supporting these tissues around the outside. So again, tunica intima, tunica media, you notice how thick it is and how highly elastic it is. And then around the outside, tunica adventitia. Okay, so that's that for this slide.